Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name's Latasha and I'm a freelance social media manager and business coach. And I have some very exciting news for you. I hope if you are in the entrepreneurial community, if you are a social media manager, if you're a marketing consultant, if you're an influencer, you guys. Instagram posts and IGTV posts can now be scheduled directly through your computer in a free program in a legit way that does not violate Instagram's terms of service, that is really super easy. Yes. So some of you might be like, okay, what's the big deal? That's not that exciting, but if you are somebody who works in digital, you know that this is kind of like the bane of our existence, right? There are tools out there that do allow you to schedule Instagram posts, but they generally speaking do not allow you to actually push them through. You generally will get a notification on your phone and say, hey, publish this. It's not a huge deal, you know, it's, it's okay, but this actually allows you to fully schedule it. You can add a location tag, you can add hashtags, you can add your caption, all that stuff and send it through and not have to think about it until you see it come through your feed later. It's done through Facebook's Creator Studio. And this was actually announced a while ago and I'm just now hearing about it, which is kind of crazy to me, but it's new to me and very exciting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the back end of it, show you how to schedule both a feed post and an IGTV post. But before we get into that, I just wanna give you a little bit of background on it. There's not a ton. Really all you need to have is a business account on Instagram and I'm guessing on Facebook as well to access Creator Studio and that's pretty much it. You'll need to access the link. I'm gonna have the link down in the description box. So it's super, super simple and easy to do. And I'm just so excited about it. So you'll just wanna to head to the link in my description box, which is business.facebook.com slash creator studio. Then go ahead and click on the Instagram icon right here. And you'll see the content library. These are all stories that I've posted within the last couple of days. And um, let's see if it shows. Yeah, it shows feed comments too. You can get some analytics on those. So anyway, there's some cool things in here, but that's not why you're here. So to create a post, well, first I'm gonna show you how to add your account just in case it's not in here. This has already been connected to my Facebook business profile. So it are automatically pulled in, I believe. But in case it's not there, you can just click on Instagram accounts and you can click add Instagram account and go through the process there. It does need to be a business account or a creator account. And if it is not, it will prompt you and show you what that looks like. And it will ask you to go onto your phone and change it to a business or a creator account. You can also only have one connection. So you can only connect one profile to a business page. So for example, I have a Freelance Friday podcast account, Instagram account. I can't technically connect that to anything because I don't have a free Facebook account to connect it to. But if I wanted to, I could create a new Facebook page so that I could directly schedule. So you do have to have the page, the Facebook page and the Instagram account connected together to do this. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, you'll just go to create post when you're ready and you can either choose to do an Instagram feed post or an IGTV post. I'll click on Instagram feed. You'll choose the account and you'll do all the stuff. I'm just gonna just put testing, auto posting, and then you'll click add content. You can either pull it from your Facebook page or as a file upload. And then you can add a location even. So I'm gonna put Detroit, Michigan. Um, let's see if it works for like businesses. Yep, works for businesses. So you can do just as you would on your phone. You can also add more content. So if I wanted to do a, let's just pretend these are different, a carousel, you can do that. Let's remove these. As you can see there too, you can also crop. So if it wasn't square, I can make it square, which is great. And yes, you can do videos as well. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can do videos and photos. This is the ultimate test. Yep, so you can do a video and image carousel, you can do video video, you can do whatever you want. The only thing you can't do yet on here is stories. So anyway, we can go ahead and select if we wanna post it to Facebook as well. So if you wanna you know, post at the same time, you can. Clicking on this little down arrow will allow you to schedule it, or you can just click publish and let's see if it goes through. And there we go, it showed up. So I'm gonna delete this really quick before people are like, what is she doing? All right, so that worked. And then it's a similar process. If you wanted to upload to IGTV, you can just 
do everything that you would normally do. You can do your video file. Um, I got an error there because I tried to upload a .mov, so it does need to be MP4, so you'll need to either put it through a converter or export it as an MP4. But all the requirements are right there, and then you can add your cover image, your title, your description, um, share a preview to feed, everything that you would do organically through your phone, you can do on here. So pretty cool, huh? All right, so I know that I'll probably get this question from some of you. This is something that I talked about recently in my last episode of Social Notes, which is my uh, series that's all about social media news and things like that. And this is actually something that would generally go into a Social Notes video, but I thought that this was like big enough news to be a standalone video. So I actually talked about it last week about how business accounts are likely going to be restricted on Instagram the same way Facebook business pages have been in the past. That would not surprise me at all. We're already seeing that a little bit to some extent. And so you do need a business account to do this. So that is one thing to keep in mind here. If you haven't switched to a business account yet, you might want to weigh out whether or not having direct scheduling capabilities is a make or break for you. But if you are someone you know, like me who has clients th that they schedule Instagram posts for, or that just produces a ton of content, has multiple accounts. I mean, I have like two phones filled up with Instagram accounts. This is definitely worth it. And especially, you know, a lot of my clients are already on business accounts. So anyway, just something to think about there. But I hope that this video was helpful for you. It's, um, I keep saying it's easy, but it is really easy. And it's such a game changer for me. And I know it's gonna be such a game changer for a lot of you. So if you are new here, please consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. I post videos every single week about social media tips and news and things about my life as a business owner and a social media professional. And I also have a podcast. That's why this microphone is here. I don't normally talk into a microphone, but, uh, yeah, it's called the Freelance Friday Podcast. And of course, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know how excited you are. I mean, I'm super excited. So I hope some of you guys are too. And I will see you very soon in a new video. Thanks for watching.